The pit lane in Valencia. The wait is over. The presentation of Mercedes GP's second Silver Arrow, the fourth works Silver Arrow from Mercedes Benz in the history of Formula One. Targets. Our aim is very, very high, definitely, because the Silver Arrow belongs very far in front in Formula One. And um, I think the main thing this year is going to be development through the season. That's going to be crucial. Mercedes GP, keen to go on the attack. Now, looking forward, last season was instructive, but is done and dusted. Well, after a kind of disappointing last year, we have a big belief and hope into the car of this year. And we estimate to be back on the road for podiums and hopefully even uh, winning races. Compared to last year's MGP W01, the airbox on the new W02 is no longer split and the front section has also been modified. After a year of development, the team is now ready. You design in a, in a vacuum and that you, you, you base it on the car you already have and you move forward, or you hope you move forward, but you don't know what the others are doing. So, uh, but uh, yeah, fairly happy. I think we've raised the standard of what we've done. Uh, We've met most of our objectives, I've come very close, so yeah, I'm happy. Under the hood, the proven Mercedes engine provides power, and the Kurs hybrid, after a year's forced absence, extra thrust. And then there's also this appealing design. The car is nice looking, uh, very different to last year's car. A lot of work in Breckley and Rixworth from the guys, so great job from all of them. They had, uh, have had quite a hectic winter, but uh, the car looks great. The new Silver Arrow is designed to look great and develop gradually to peak performance with the drivers and new silver paintwork then able to try to outshine each other. Nico, looking this way, please, as you do it. Yeah, Nico, just look at you. One, two, three. <laughs> Nico, yeah, yeah. Are you? Nico, I'm a user. Michael. Michael. Michael.
Yeah, it was nice. It was short. Uh, I think it was very professional for the photographers. The car is nice looking, uh, very different to last year's car. A lot of work in Brackley and Rixworth from the guys. So great job from all of them. They had, uh, have had quite a hectic winter, but uh, the car looks great. Uh, the aims are to improve. We have been fourth in the World Championship rankings last year. And we want to improve from there and, and uh, of course we want to win races, we want to do it step by step and go forward. It's a very exciting time of the year um, to drive the first time with this new car and to get a feel for it, you know, does it feel fast, does it feel uh, agile, you know, and, and I really look forward to that. Our aim is very, very high, definitely, because the Silver Arrow belongs very far in front in Formula 1 and um, I think the main thing this year is going to be development through the season, that's going to be crucial. The team as such really improved a lot, so for sure we'll be more competitive than last year. Um, but for now it's impossible to say where exactly we will be. Um, even all the tests you won't really be able to understand. So we just have to wait and see for the first qualifying in the first race. There's a big difference between the Bridgestone tires and this year's Pirelli tires. Um, and that's going to make a lot of things more difficult also because we don't have a comparison. Um, so when I drive out with a new car this year, it's going to feel different anyways because of the tires. So it's going to be difficult for me to judge what is tires, what is car, uh, how good does it feel. So that's going to be a challenge. Yeah, it's exciting that they brought Kurs back. Um, I think it's, uh, it's good that F1 has the hybrid power. Um, and mainly you use Kurs on the straights and especially at low speeds. So when you come out of the corner, that's when it uh, helps you most. And as a driver, it's quite complicated because you have to push the button and you have to hold it for a specific amount of time and then release again. And that's going to be quite a challenge. So Curse is quite a complex thing um, because you need to push the button and hold it for a certain amount of time and then release again. At the same time, you're pushing the button to drop the rear wing. At the same time, you're upshifting, you're changing brake balance, changing differential. So it's, it's a lot of things going on and it's going to take some time to get used to it. Yeah, definitely. You have to learn the procedure. It has to become a bit more natural, you know. Es ist eine extrem spannende Phase des Jahres, ähm, das erste Mal in diesem neuen Auto zu sitzen ja, und ein Gefühl dafür zu kriegen, ist es schnell, äh, wie, wie fährt es sich und so weiter. Weil damit fährt man ja das ganze Jahr damit. Ja, unser Ziel ist sicher sehr hoch gesteckt dieses Jahr, äh, wie immer, weil ein Silberpfeil gehört viel weiter vorne rein in die Formel 1. Und, ähm, aber mal sehen, es ist eine lange Saison und ich glaube, dieses Jahr wird die Entwicklung während der Saison extrem wichtig sein. Also unser Team hat sich auf jeden Fall sehr gesteigert. Ähm, deswegen werden wir wettbewerbsfähiger sein wie letztes Jahr. Ähm, aber es ist unmöglich zu sagen, wie weit vorne wir sein werden. Und das wird man auch nicht in den Tests sehen. Wir müssen dann wirklich abwarten bis zum ersten Qualifying im ersten Rennen, um zu verstehen, wo sind wir jetzt wirklich. Der Reifenunterschied wird sicher sehr groß sein. Und das wird viele Sachen unter anderem auch schwieriger machen, weil man dann keinen Vergleich hat zum letzten Jahr. Ja, man, ich fahre jetzt das erste Mal mit dem Auto raus, aber schon allein die Reifen machen das Auto so anders, dass ich Schwierigkeiten habe zu vergleichen, ist das jetzt, fühlt es sich gut an, ist das ein schnelles Auto? Also das wird die Sache um sehr viel schwieriger machen. Ja, mit dem Kers ist es natürlich eine sehr interessante Sache, auch recht kompliziert für die Fahrer. Und man setzt das dann hauptsächlich auf den Geraden ein, bei niedrig, niedriger Geschwindigkeit, weil da bringt es am meisten. Weil wenn man Ende der Gerade ist und man dann Kers einsetzt, dann ist die Beschleunigung viel zu gering. Also man muss das wirklich aus der Kurve raus benutzen.